Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how I style my dirty hair. I know this sounds disgusting, but I have recently learned that washing your hair less helps it to grow more. And a lot of you guys on Instagram have actually said that my hair looked a lot longer recently. For the last two months or so, I've actually washed my hair half as much. So instead of washing it every other day, like three or four times a week, I'm actually only washing it twice a week on a Sunday and a Wednesday. And because I've been doing that, it's actually easier for me to style my hair. It's also actually looking cleaner a lot more of the time and it's also got longer, thicker, less dry and loads of other really good benefits. So for those days in between when I'm kind of getting to the point where it's kind of needing wash and it is a bit more greasy, I'm going to show you how I managed to style it and you would never know that it's due to be washed the next day. So at the moment as you can see I am rocking the mum bun because I just got up this morning and done some housework and stuff so I just threw it up in this bird's nest of a bun but I'm going to take it out, brush it out and show you what I use to make it look a bit more presentable. So the first thing is to take this out which is just in this big messy bun and I've literally just thrown it up in no particular way and this is what we are left with which is a whole load of hair that's yeah it's just a bit worse for wear isn't it let's be fair. The first thing that I want to do is take my hair and just part it in two just sort of roughly into two sections just so that I've got all of the hair at the front. The reason why I do this is because I actually find it easier to manage when I've got it all at the front. Oh, it's like a proper lion's mane. And then the next thing I like to do is to brush it out. So literally just taking a big paddle brush. This one here is a Denman brush and I've had it for years and it's such a good brush. If you're looking for a new paddle brush, I would definitely recommend one of these ones. And I'm literally just taking it from the end of the hair up towards the root. And as you can see, when it gets to the root, you can see it's a little bit more Sort of oily but yeah just brush the hair out since i've started washing my hair just twice a week i've noticed quite a few differences in obviously the length as i said and also in like the quality of my hair so the ends used to be really really dry and now they're actually not that bad at all so it's obviously all the oil that's in my hair is really benefiting the length of my hair so we just need to try and manage the root and make it look a bit more presentable so the first thing I grab is my Swatchkov, I've got to be Guardian Angel Heat Protecting Spray and I just spray this all throughout the length of my hair. Just give that a really good spritz all over. And then I also grab another Swatchkov product which is the Essence Ultimate with Luxurious Pearl Essence and it's Crystal Shine Heat Protecting Spray again but this one is really good for dry hair so I literally just spray this all over the bottom of my hair and that one smells really good so just rub all of that in and brush it out again. So I know a lot of people do these kind of videos, they use their dry shampoo first, but I don't. I literally just go on to the curling part. So literally, just parting my hair in two. Really quickly. And then what I tend to do is keep a lot of the bulk of my hair down and then take two tiny sections at the top and the back. So maybe like an inch of the top of your hair. Oh, it's so tucky. And I literally just pop that away using like a little elastic or a clip. But I'm just going to use a little elastic band just now. And then taking these two huge sections of hair, I want to take a big section from the back of each part. So I want to take a huge big section at the back, like literally this much. Like look how much that is. So it's loads and loads of hair. And then just taking my straighteners. So these have been plugged in for a while. Just taking my GHD straighteners, I want to put it on the part of my hair where it is sort of meeting my jawline. So I don't want to go all the way up here, I want to take it at the length because it will actually look longer if you only curl the bottom end of it. If you take it to the top, you're going to look like an Irish dancer with one of those wigs in. So literally just take it here, flip it back and then pull it down. and then you have like a nice loose curl and you want to do the same by splitting this one in two so taking like another section that's a little bit thicker so take about two thirds of the section that's left 
and again brush it through with your fingers put your iron on flip it back and then keep it on there and pull it all the way down like so So then we've got another big curl and then the last one you always want to curl away from your face so when you put your iron on have it at an angle here take this one closer to maybe like the top of your ear and then again just curl it down and it's good you've got the heat protecting spray on it because as you can see there is quite a lot of heat that comes off of it and steam so you really want to make sure that your hair is well protected from all that heat so now we have three big huge, I need to stand up because my hair is getting so long, three big huge curls and we want to just repeat that on the other side. Once these two parts have been curled, what you want to do is take this top section out and just give it a really good brush and make sure it is nice and soft. So you want to brush your parting completely away so it's just like one huge big section and then take about a third of it just take the entire section like that should be the same width as your straighteners take the entire section place your straightener quite close up to the top and then pull it all the way down and then do the same for the other side so you're left with like a third of the section in the middle so you just want to half that bit this side is actually thicker than the other side so I'm just going to split it up in half and then take my straighteners again and just pull it all the way down so that goes from the root all the way down to the end and if you twirl it, it actually helps it to sit in place we have this last section that we kind of twirled about there all you want to do is take it to the crown at the back so about an inch at the back and put your straightener in and tilt it back the way oh my hair is so long it's going out of like the viewfinder and just keep repeating that process of curling back the way with this whole entire section because that will give you the nice sort of kicked out layers at the back that everyone always compliments on my instagram pictures and asks me how do I get my hair like that and again the section at the front take your straightener in Flip the hair back and then pull it all the way forward. Like so. And then flip that back. Okay, so in terms of like the actual curling the hair, I think that's looking pretty good. However, I think that the root looks a bit disgusting, so we're going to need to do something about that. What I like to do first is to take my serum and the one I'm using just now is the Tori and Guy Classic Shine Gloss Serum. This one I actually picked up in Home Bargains, I think it was, um, and it was only £2, which was really good. So once I've worked that serum all through the ends of my hair, it's looking lovely and glossy and shiny. This part up top just is not working for me, so I then take the Aussie Festival Fresh dry shampoo or I also use the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo which is really good too. The good thing about these is because they don't have residue. Dry shampoo is like the Batiste one unless you buy the colour one. Leaves your hair quite chalky and quite white up top so you can really tell you've got dry shampoo in. But these ones are great plus the Herbal Essences one you can actually find in Poundland so it's not really expensive. But yeah I just literally shake this up and spray it all over my roots. Don't forget to do the sides of your hair because everyone always tends to do the top section but then your hair blows in the wind and you can see all this underneath. Already my hair is starting to feel like it's got more texture so I just want to leave that to kind of set a little bit because it kind of dries and then I just want to start working it into my scalp, giving it a good shake. Okay, so although I've not styled it, you can see that my hair has got so much more volume, but we want more. So I'm going to throw this through the length of my hair a little bit for a bit more texture. Okay, 
and then I literally just want to mess about with it so I tend to like take my palm in my hand and sort of pull it in this direction and then just shake this part forward and then just keep using your hands to get the texture right and twirl around parts that don't look quite as curly and just pull a lot of it apart so you just want to try and get the shape right and then I like to make this part and come over a little bit and pull this sort of fringy part over and then push it up a little bit Now I do not use hairspray because I feel that when I use it, it makes the style far too rigid and also it adds so much weight to my hair that it pulls the curls out. So you're actually better, I would think, to not use hairspray and use something like a texturizing spray or a dry shampoo like I just did does the exact same thing. And that's basically how I style my hair when it's a bit dirty. So I hope you guys like this kind of look that I have got basically every day. Like I say, I get asked all the time how I style my hair. So I hope this kind of shows you my everyday styling routine. It's really not difficult, it's basically just curl it in big huge sections, dry shampoo it, shake it out, a bit of serum to give your ends a little bit of a healthy glow and that's basically it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did then please give it a big thumbs up and just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!